Okay, it's uh, the top of the hour by o'clock, so I'll get started. Um, my name is Sean McGibbon. I'm the uh, lead for the discussion backend team at GitLab, and this is uh, what we've been up to in the last five weeks since my last update. Um, we shipped 9.5 um, almost a week ago now, um, on the 22nd of August. Um, we didn't have a huge amount of capacity for that in the back end part of the discussion team, um, so we didn't ship any big features. Um, some things that we did ship that are awesome um, is that the Jira settings are now simpler. Previously, um, we asked you to enter a project key, um, which is a unique thing in Jira, which is like um, the prefix um, for all your issue IDs on that project. Um, but we didn't actually need that or use it in a bunch of places, and it was kind of confusing about whether um, you could only use it with that project when you can't. Our Jira integration is actually a bit more flexible than that. Um, so Yaka uh, fixed that. Also, um, Oswaldo made a really cool change, which is that um, uh, before we managed merge request locking using um, the database. So it would trigger a background job when you clicked on merge. That would update the merge request as locked. It would then try and perform the merge, and then it would unlock it if it failed or if it succeeded. Um, but sometimes it didn't get unlocked, and we had a limit of 24 hours, which you had to wait while it was in that locked state. Um, so as well, there's made a change that we track the actual ID of the background job, so we can track it um, more closely, and we can see if the job exists or if it's um, if it's no longer present, and then we can unlock the merge request that way. So now um, it will be stuck for at most two hours, but we still hope to um, improve that even further. Um, we also had um, quite a big uh, background migration, which is a, a migration that we run um, asynchronously, and that took um, uh, in total a couple of weeks on gitlab.com. Um, but I think in sort of just runtime, it took um, it took about five to seven days. Um, but now all merge request diffs and commits should be in the new format on GitLab.com, which lets us implement some new features, which I'm going to talk about in a second. Um, one thing that we were hoping to ship last month that we didn't didn't quite make it was uh, group issue boards. Um, so that's um, I think the back end for that is pretty much done, and the front end is is getting there now. Uh, Felipe and Simon have been doing really good work on that. Simon's um, also had to um, also been a release manager for um, 10.0, so he's uh, sort of had to split his time between the two. But it's coming along really nicely, and it's going to be super awesome. Um, we're going to use it for GitLab development, which is um, uh, in my book the highest bar for a feature to meet. <laughs> the one that we actually um, you know, use ourselves all the time is um, is a super cool thing. Um, the other things in 10.0, um, Oswaldo again has been doing some uh, really cool stuff. So we're hoping to show um, link to the Jira development panel by pretending to be GitHub Enterprise um, because we can't integrate with Jira any other way. Um, so that should be in 10.0, which is awesome. Um, so we just mimic GitHub Enterprise's OAuth flow and um, API. That Jira uses. Um, Yaka has picked up um, an old community merge request that never got finished to allow us to uh, to allow people to lock an issue so that only um, members, project members, can comment on it, which is um, a long requested feature and um, one that thankfully we don't have to use too much for ourselves, um, but it's going to be really useful for smaller projects, especially. Um, Valerie is working on um, speeding up merge requests with lots of resolved discussions. Because um, when you have lots of comments on the diff, we go and highlight all those, even if they're collapsed by default, when we could just you know, get them when you um, expand the diff. So that's going to be cool and should save a lot of time. Um, rebase errors to users, Douglas is um, finishing that up. And um, a really cool community contribution um, at the end here is that um, in our filter bar, you'll be able to filter issues and MRs by your emoji reaction to them. So if you like starred them, you can search for all the issues that you starred, 
all, all the ones that you gave a thumbs up to or you know all the ones that you gave a thumbs down to if you're the kind of person who goes around giving thumbs downs to things um which hopefully most people aren't um so yeah that's super cool um it's uh, by a community contributor and it's a really great change um on a team level um janine's no longer with gitlab her last day was Friday, which is uh, quite sad, um, but she's going to do something very exciting, so that's cool for her. Um, Mikhail has joined. Um, he starts today, so um, <laughs> the timing was coincidental, but that gives me a lot to talk about here. Um, so the first thing he's working on is a first-time contributor badge, so that when someone submits their first merge request to a project, there's a little badge um, that says, you know, hey, this is this, is this person's first contribution. Um, you know, maybe be even nicer than you already would be. Obviously everybody um, on the GitLab project is extremely nice anyway, but be even nicer um, because it's their first contribution. Um, and then beyond that, um, we haven't really um, thought it through because his first day was today, but he will be working on other discussion things. Um, my next point on this slide is actually slightly outdated. I think we are um, hiring more than one uh, backfill for platform um, and one more backend backfill developer for platform, uh, for discussion. Um, but we've still closed the um, backend developer job opening just because we have so many awesome people in the pipeline that um, even, even with more openings, we're still going to have to reject some great people um, just because we don't have enough positions available. Uh, in future, um, Felipe and the front end team are working on a really cool feature, which is to let you comment on an image diff. So just like, pick some coordinates in an image and click there and add a comment thread there, which is really cool. Um, something that was enabled by the uh, merge request schema changes that I mentioned earlier was um, that we can now easily show you the commit. Uh, sorry, if you look at a commit, we can show you which merge request added that commit. Um, so uh, I was actually waiting for the, um, I see some celebrations going on. Um, I was actually um, waiting for the background migrations to finish, but um, the same contribu community contributor as before, uh, Hiroyuki Sato, just picked this up and um, implemented it. So we're working on getting that merged. Um, it's super cool. Um, and it's just really nice that we can finally do that. Um, and the final thing is we've still got a lot of areas to improve performance wise. Um, one thing that's been bugging me particularly lately is that um, when you push to an open merge request, updating that merge request is slow. Like, so we have some inherent delays in that like it gets processed in the background and we have to wait for it to be queued and to be pulled from the queue and to be executed. Um, but even when it's executed, it is still slow. Um, so we can, we can fix that last part easily by, I say easily, we can fix it as a development team. Um, it's like, you know, within our area of expertise by, you know, profiling it and making it not slow, basically, is the, is the process there. Find slow thing, make it faster. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I'm just going to go through the chat quickly. Um, and if anybody's got any um, questions you've got another sort of 30 seconds so uh, kim's excited about um group issue boards and yeah gitly team will love it i think every team will love it even back end teams and front end teams because we work on c and e and just seeing those issues together and for product managers is really useful um tone yeah so for the um locked um, the issue that reopens itself that Tone's talking about, basically there's an issue on the GitLab CE issue tracker where someone's written a script that reopens the issue. And once we implement the lock issue feature, that script won't work anymore. Um, but for now, if we try and close the issue, it just gets reopened automatically. So we can only close it once we've implemented the feature. It's a really cool, um, uh, <laughs> it's a really cool um, uh, way of demonstrating that we don't have the feature. Um, and Kim also asks, is the first time contributor project per project or per user so it's per user per project so it's for your first merge request to a particular project um, and it only shows when you're not a team member because um, you know if it's like a company scenario where you just join the team and you got access to the repository like it's less important right it's more important for open source projects where you can fork it um, but we could change that in the future um, that's just how it's implemented at the moment um, so yeah 
Uh, I didn't see any other questions, so thanks very much for your time, everybody. Um, I will see uh, those of you who work at GitLab in 21 minutes for the team call. <laughs>